Hi everybody, David Harper here. In this series of videos, I'm gonna give you some trade secrets and show you how you can make money buying and selling antiques and have a great time doing it. And let me promise you, it is not rocket science. And I'm gonna start very low. I will cover things worth thousands, but I'm gonna start with this. It's a little table candle holder from the mid 1950s and it cost me a tenner. Now don't switch off at this point, stick with me. I know it's only a tenner, but I'm gonna show you how you can make this thing worth five times the money with little effort and within a matter of minutes. And it's not just about cleaning either, by the way, I will clean it and prepare it. It's all about information and expertise. And if you haven't got it, don't worry. I'm gonna show you how you can get that great expertise again in a matter of minutes, which will make this thing worth five times the money. Now, for those of you out there viewing, thinking, well, what's 50 quid in the scale of things? Big deal. Well, listen, it is a big deal because you would be blown away at the margins on little things worth 10 pounds. The percentage profit on tiny purchases, financially speaking, can be astronomical. So all you've got to do is times these by multiples, 10 times, 20 times, 100 times. If you're willing to put the effort and the work in and you enjoy handling lovely, interesting things, you can make really good money. So, first of all, let's get the cleaning out of the way. Let's make this 10 pounds purchase immediately worth 20, and then I'm gonna give you top tips on how you become an expert in anything and add huge amounts of value. Stick with me. The process I'm gonna walk you through here by using this piece as an example applies to anything that you buy. So follow what I do, apply it to your next purchase and you will make money. Let's start by giving it a clean. Whilst I'm cleaning, I've just gotta make this point. You need to have a great interest in these things to make money. If you've got that interest, you will make it. So watch this video right to the end. And I think you'll agree, it looks absolutely the business after only a couple of minutes of grimy cleaning. In fact, it's so good. Look at that reflection. There's my camera. There's me in the camera. There's the reflections of the room. It looks absolutely delicious. In fact, better than delicious because it now looks its age. Work with me on this one. It's a vintage piece and like all antique and vintage objects, they've got to look their age. It could quite easily have been a repro made a few years ago, just looking grimy. We now know certainly it isn't. Look at the perfect bits of wear, say on the foot here. Can you just see where I'm pointing here? Nice and tight, that scrapes and wear, where this thing has been used for 60 odd years, probably continuously. It's even got a little bit of damage on the plate here, probably from boiling hot wax. Listen, don't worry about these things. Celebrate them and use them as a tool to sell because originality is everything. This thing has got to scream it came from the 50s. And it does, not just in its shape and style, but now in its lovely patinated condition. Just a couple of minutes of cleaning has brought out that great patination. Cosmetically then, it has been transformed. But in the cleaning and the handling, you're always picking up bits of information, discovering new things in every item you handle. And this information is worth money. And come on, it's got to be worth at least 20 quid now, hasn't it? But now let's talk about making this thing worth double and a bit more. So it says made in Denmark. Well, I think I knew that from 10 feet away. It's very Scandinavian. The Danish, the Scandinavians did and still do make very stylish pieces just like this. Now it carries a crown stamp and a couple of other hallmarks. You can see those here. 
but I didn't recognise the maker. You can't know everything. And this is where a little bit of research comes in handy. So when I got home, I googled, try it, you will find this thing. Mid-century Danish silver-plated candelabra. Scroll through the images, you'll find this particular model and you'll find very easily who made it. And this is where we add the value. This is where you get the expertise in a matter of moments. And again, this applies to absolutely anything you're handling. Research and discovery is priceless. So those hallmarks tell me, Google it, you'll find it, that this thing was made by Carl F. Christiansen of Copenhagen. Now that company was trading between 1943 and 1963. They were well known for making modernist, stylish, fashionable, trendy pieces in silver and silver plate, just like this. So confirming the date of this to around the mid 1950s. Well, that information has just added a lump of value. But something else I discovered in my research, which took only a few minutes, was this, that this interlocking shape here gained a nickname in the 50s and 60s, and that nickname was the Propeller Candelabra, and names sell. So now, when you offer this thing for sale, you can describe it beautifully mid-century, you can prove it's original because of the hallmarks, you can show that Christensen ceased trading in 1963. You can call it the propeller interlocking modernist mid 1950s silver plated Scandinavian beautiful designed candelabra. Just great information. But remember, this is information you get if you have an interest, because if you've got the interest, you will discover great stories, tales, factory info. Yet again, all of this just adding value. And I think you'll agree that has been transformed. But more interestingly, so have you. If you were handling this object just like we've been through, you would become an expert. You would know more about this little candelabra than most people on the planet. So don't be shy. Sell that knowledge. Sell that expertise. People buy into people who know stuff. It's so Powerful. So write down the full description. Talk about Christensen, the factory. Talk about the propeller shape, the nickname. Talk about its originality. Sell this piece. Take loads of really good, honest, close-up shots of every angle of this thing. Put the description and the pictures online, eBay, Selling Antiques. There are loads of websites. And you will turn your £10 investment into minimum 50 pounds in a matter of minutes. So if you enjoy the discovery, the research, the cleaning, the preparation and the selling, and of course the handling of really interesting, beautiful little objects, then get yourself out there, get treasure hunting and come back to see me here on YouTube soon because I'll be uploading lots more top tips on how you can make money out of antiques. I'm David Harper. Until next time, cheerio.